Hey there, welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to take you on a journey through the different stages of a rocket launch and ascent into space, explaining what happens to the human body and how astronauts cope with the unique conditions of spaceflight. But before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos, and you'll be supporting our channel so we can keep bringing you the best content. Okay, now that you're subscribed, let's get started on our journey to space. Flying with a rocket into space is a complex and physically demanding experience that involves several stages, each of which can affect the human body in different ways. One of the most significant challenges of flying with a rocket to space is the effect of G-forces on the human body. G-forces are the forces that act on the body as a result of acceleration or deceleration, and they are expressed in multiples of the force of gravity. During launch, the G-forces experienced by the body can be so intense that they can cause loss of consciousness or even death if not managed properly. To counteract the effects of G-forces, astronauts undergo rigorous training programs to build up their tolerance to these forces. They also wear specialized suits that help to distribute the G-forces evenly throughout the body, so that no one part of the body experiences more stress than another. Another challenge of spaceflight is the effect of microgravity on the human body. In microgravity, the body experiences a state of weightlessness, which can cause several changes that can affect health and well-being. For example, without the pull of gravity, blood and other fluids tend to move towards the upper part of the body, which can cause a feeling of fullness or congestion in the head. Over time, this can lead to changes in the cardiovascular system including a decrease in blood volume and a decrease in the body's ability to regulate blood pressure. To counteract the effects of microgravity, astronauts must undergo regular exercise programs to maintain their muscle and bone mass. They also follow strict diets that are high in vitamins and minerals to ensure that they get the nutrients they need to maintain their health. Now that we have a better understanding of what happens during a rocket launch and ascent into space, let's take a closer look at the critical first and last minutes of the mission and the changes that astronauts experience during these intense and challenging moments. The first stage is the launch, during which the rocket experiences intense vibrations and acceleration forces. The acceleration can range from 3 to 8 times the force of gravity, 3 to 8 gs, depending on the type of rocket and its trajectory. The human body is not used to such intense forces, and they can cause discomfort, nausea, and even loss of consciousness if not managed properly. To protect themselves from these forces, Astronauts wear specialized suits that distribute the G-forces evenly throughout the body. These suits also help to regulate the body's temperature, protect against radiation, and provide oxygen and other essential gases. The second stage is the ascent, during which the rocket climbs higher and higher into space. As the rocket leaves the Earth's atmosphere, the G-forces gradually decrease and the body begins to feel weightless. At around 100 kilometers above the Earth's surface, the rocket reaches the edge of space, also known as the Kármán line. At this point, the body is completely weightless, and the sensation can be described as a feeling of floating. The third stage is the altitude, during which the rocket continues to climb higher into space. At around 20 kilometers above the Earth's surface, the body enters what is known as the death zone. In this zone, the air pressure and oxygen levels are so low that human life cannot be sustained without artificial life support systems. 
astronauts must rely on their spacesuits and the life support systems in the spacecraft to survive in this environment. The fourth stage is microgravity, which is experienced once the rocket is in space. In this state of weightlessness, the body undergoes several changes that can affect health and well-being. For example, long periods of microgravity can lead to loss of bone density, muscle atrophy, and changes in the cardiovascular system. To counteract these effects, astronauts must exercise regularly and follow a strict diet to ensure they get enough vitamins and minerals. The final stage is re-entry, during which the spacecraft returns to Earth. Re-entry is a critical and challenging stage of the mission, during which the spacecraft must withstand high temperatures and G-forces. The heat shields of the spacecraft protect the crew from the extreme heat, while the spacecraft's descent is carefully controlled to minimize the G-forces experienced by the body. In summary, Flying with a rocket to space is an incredible and challenging experience that requires physical and mental preparation, specialized equipment, and careful management of the body's response to the unique conditions of spaceflight. While it can be physically demanding, it is also a profound and life-changing experience for those who have the opportunity to undertake it.